Today I was helping with my dad's business. He needed some help, so I was packaging for him. And then next I had a meeting for my organization and I went to school and I got some work done. family and we went to La Michoacana and then I went to the zoo but I didn't get to record much except for this tiger and it was my sister's birthday today and she wanted to make a new phone charm and I also made one for my mom Mine's So me and my parents went to go pick up all of my sister's decorations for her party and then here is when we surprised her with the setup. Next day, I just had a meeting. I'm just introducing myself really quick. And then I was just editing a PowerPoint for a meeting as well. And I ended my Sunday going to the Chihuahua's baseball game. You with Liz tonight's designated. I'm just gonna document this moment. Just got off of an interview with a remote YouTube editing job. It's another gaming YouTuber. I made it to the second round, meaning I have to do a test edit. This is just exciting. Don't know what I'm gonna do now. I just wanted to document this and see what happens. There wasn't as many people there because it was just, they call it skeleton crew, which is just like the main people that need to be there. I don't know. It didn't feel like it was the last day just because the weekend or the week before, everybody was saying their goodbyes and stuff. You know, like that last week of school vibe where like nothing's really going on, but you know that it's the last week or the last day. I don't know if that made any sense, but that's kind of how it felt. Anyways, that is officially a wrap on Don't Say Murder. Okay, so remember that job interview I told you about and then I had to do a test edit? I'm starting it right now and it's gonna be a lot to say the least. I'm having trouble just figuring out the audio because there's different people talking and I'm only used to one person talking. I'll update you throughout the process. Let's do this. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this today or like do most of it today and then just wrap it up tomorrow morning. It's kicking my ass, to say the least. That's the update. I think I'm gonna eat. Let me just show you the timeline though. This is the video at the top and then the audio that goes with it. The sound that's from the game and then all of these other sounds are the people voicing the other characters in the gameplay. Okay, I am tapping out for the night. My eyes are burning. They're a little red, you can't really tell. Or maybe you can, I don't know. I spent a total of seven and a half hours editing. I am beat up. Boy oh boy, do I have a story time. Yesterday was kind of a sh day because I spent 
four hours finishing that video and I thought it was only gonna take me two more hours. In total, over the course of Friday and um, the four hours I spent yesterday editing, it took me 12 hours to edit that video. Anyway, that's besides the point. So I was stressed editing that video. You know, my boyfriend and I were just kind of not in the best mood, but I had planned to go out to this, it's a Latin club, they play Latin music, like every other Saturday or something. And it's in Deep Ellum. I had seen people post about it. I forgot like how I found out about it, but I really wanted to go because I love dancing to Latin music. And it was a really bad day. And I knew that like going out and dancing, I, it would be a great way to end the day. I told my boyfriend about this like last week or like a couple days before. And he he's not the type that likes to go out, but I don't have a lot of people to do that with. A friend that I've made like through Bumble Friends, she wasn't feeling good. So that was not an option. And I have nobody else to hit up right now. So he was like, okay, yeah, like I will go out with you. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a nap. At this point it was like 8.20 or something or 8.15. I woke up at 9.30 and I took a shower because I smelled really bad. And I got ready. This is the fit that I wore. And my boyfriend was like, yeah, just like pick out my outfit. And mind you, we had gone to a club last weekend. I gave him this like flowy shirt and then some jeans. So he asked me to pick out his outfit again this time. And I kind of wasn't in the mood because I was kind of in a rush and whatever. I picked out his outfit this time and I gave him like a different flowy shirt that he had. And I gave him some shorts because he doesn't like wearing jeans. It was a very casual fit for going out, but I didn't think like that would matter too much because the club that I wanted to go to wasn't like high end or anything. I drove to Deep Ellum and we ended up getting there around like 11, 15 at night. We're driving through and it is so crowded. There was no parking near the club. You could barely even like drive down the street. Like it was like bumper to bumper. So I'm driving and I'm like stressed out because I don't like driving in those types of situations. Recently there's been crime that's been happening in Deep Ellum and that was kind of in the back of my mind. But I was like, you know what, like we will be okay. So as we're driving, you know, really slow, I hear popping noises. And last week, one of the days when I was going back home from work, I heard the same kind of noise. And it was from a car with those like really annoying like exhaust pipes sticking out at the end. And it sounded like, I've never heard gunshots, I don't think, but it sounded like that would be what a gunshot sounded like. And I literally thought it was a drive-by like on the freeway, but it was just the car's like exhaust pipes doing whatever that was. So I thought the same situation was happening right then and there, but I got scared though, because I knew that crime had been happening in Deep Ellum and I don't know what gunshots sound like. So I thought it was gunshots, but I was like, no, no, no. Like it's probably just like the exhaust pipes from a car. But me and Cam both like got too freaked out and I was like, no, we're not, we're not doing this. It's not worth it. I can't even find parking near where I wanna go. So I don't know how far we're gonna even have to walk to go to this club. It was scary. So we drove off and I was just like, okay, great. Like I drove all the way out here for nothing basically. Like I'm not risking my life to dance to some Latin music. Like it's, that's not the mood. I was really annoyed and frustrated and my boyfriend was like, well, is there anywhere else you wanna go? And we were kind of getting into an argument because it was just, the energy was not good. I was frustrated and I was like, do I really wanna go back home? No. So my boyfriend was asking like, well, is there anywhere else you wanna go? And I was like, no. And then I thought of this other club that I had seen when I was looking up like Latin clubs and it's called Escapade 2001 or 2009. I think there's two of them because it said Escapade Dallas. And so I was thinking it would be like around the area, but it was 23 minutes away from where we were. So I'm like 23 minutes from here. So I keep driving cause I'm like, you know what? The night is still kind of young. I think we were supposed to end up getting there at 12, 20. When I was doing my research, everyone seemed to say like, yeah, like it was cool. It's fun, you know, whatever, whatever. But it also seemed like really hardcore, like Mexican. Not that that's like a bad thing. Sometimes I get um, flustered because I can't speak Spanish fluently and I just, I feel like an outsider basically. But anyway, that wasn't gonna deter me, I wanted to dance. And when we're closer to the club, there's like a lot of traffic and I'm like, that's kind of weird. It doesn't seem like there would be traffic here, but all this traffic was going to that club. So it was a long line just to even like get there. It's like its whole operation back there. It was actually kind of cool. Two clubs like kind of connected like with a piece of sidewalk and like it's like a huge parking lot. Everyone's wearing their cowboy boots, their, their hats, their jeans with like the bedazzled stuff on their butt pockets. I was like, yeah, like we'll only stay here for like an hour and a half. And he was like, are you serious? And I'm like, what is that like too long? And he's like, 
well, it's already like 12.30 and he had to wake up early and I was just like, okay. So whatever, my boyfriend's not in the mood. You know, we're both kind of just in like a weird back and forth between us. So we're walking towards the club and I'm, I, I'm starting to get a little nervous. I don't know what was going on, but I just wanted to make sure that like nothing else would go wrong. So I'm looking at like the entrance and seeing like, oh, do we have to pay because the club that we were gonna go to, there was no cover charge. And I was like, if it's more than 10 bucks, then I wouldn't have gone in. Well, maybe, I don't know. So I was trying to like look and see if they were charging, what, what they were doing. They were just patting people down. There's signs also at the entrance and it was like a list of things that you couldn't be wearing or you couldn't bring inside. And so I'm reading just to make sure like we're all good. One of the things that it says is no shorts. <laughs> And what did I pack for my boyfriend to wear? And I gave him some shorts, corduroy shorts. They're nice shorts, but they're not good enough to get in the club. I don't see how you can be hidden from outside of the club. You can't even get in. So I read that and I'm like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no way. And so we go to the other one cause it's like literally like a sidewalk and then it's the other club. And I'm like, maybe they don't have that sign. I don't see a sign like on this building, but then the white guy comes out and he's wearing shorts and he's like, bro, just so you know, like they're not gonna let you in if you're wearing shorts. And then Cam was like, I'm done. So I drove all around DFW, not all around, but racking up those tollway miles for nothing. I just wanted to dance. I have not had any luck with finding a club that I really like out here and I really thought I was gonna find it. This club could still be an option, but we just can't wear shorts. We walk to my car and my boyfriend's like, okay, I'll drive us back home. As we're like driving out, I just see all these people like going to the club and they just, they look like they're having fun and the tears come down and I'm just like, bro, that could have been me. We drove home, then I took this picture so that's my story time. I just wanted to get it out. I needed to tell somebody or multiple people at this point. I will have a good club experience. I am determined, okay? I am going to take a shower now and I'm going to go to the grocery store and then maybe take a little nap, get a little wild. Oh, and me and Cam are gonna go see Nope. So update on that job I was telling you guys about. I just got off the phone with the guy that's hiring and he said i was his top pick and his editing team's top pick for the job i pretty much have the job um it's not official official yet but he was like you'll most likely be hearing from me that you got the position either tomorrow or on monday today is thursday i know that i can do this but i was just so stressed out because i was just like it is taking way too long i doubt myself even though i am more than capable. He said I went above and beyond what they usually do, but I'm just so excited and I'm very happy. And I will let you know if I officially got it or if something crazy happens and I don't, but that is the update. I am happy to say that I got the job and it's my third week. It's going really well, everyone's cool. So yay.